Uh, let me show you video SL 1.1. So, um, the big news, I guess, I'm demoing here on a 57, but the big news is that it works with the SL1 and the MP4. So you can now use it with any RAIN hardware, uh, any of the three uh, products there, 57, the SL1, or the MP4. Um, something else that's pretty cool is if I disconnect the hardware, um, you'll see when I turn video on, there's now a little preview window up here. So you can actually preview your window, your videos, uh, without hardware connected and use it to set your cue points, set your loops, just generally prepare for your set, whereas before you had to be connected to hardware in order to do that. Um, so I'm going to pretend that I'm connected to an SL1. Uh, so I can better show you what's going on. So um, without, uh, with an SL1 you don't have the controls that you have on the 57. So you have the option of controlling things with the mouse and key with the mouse. So I can do my cross fading with the mouse. Um, but it is now completely MIDI assignable. Which is cool. So um, I've got a little MIDI controller here. Uh, and on the screen I can just uh, click on the MIDI button. And I want to uh, assign the crossfader, so I just click on that. Wiggle my little MIDI control. And then uh, it's good to go. Can you do it one more time? Yeah. All right. Wow. Okay, so I got my MIDI set up. I can now play my two tracks. And on the output window here, oh yeah, so that's pretty cool, I mean that's cool, it's necessary I think for the SL1 but it's also quite cool for the 57 because you can have a separate controller dedicated for just doing video. Um, the effects, there's also a bunch of new effects. Um, the uh, effects are now remembered per track, so if you want to have a particular effect on a particular track, every time you load that track, the effect will be there. That's pretty cool. Um, we've also got some cool new audio-driven effects, so they actually listen to the music and respond to the music. So let me show you the bass zoom. That's a pretty good one for that. Da, da, da. So you can kind of close up on that output window there. You'll see like when the kick drum comes in, it zooms in. Uh, there's another one that's kind of along the same lines is a kind of graphic equalizer type effect. Let me crank that up so you can really see it. And uh, this other cool one is the do uh, where is it? This one, rigid body, is kind of cool. What it does is it breaks it into pieces, and each piece is free to move, and it's kind of being bounced by the bass. And you'll see that after a little while, with enough bass, it starts to actually fall apart and the little blocks all start to come tumbling down. So if you've got a really bass heavy song and this cranked up, it'll happen quite quickly so you can use that as a cool kind of mix out effect or something. So that is Video SL 1.1, a bunch of new effects support for the SL1 and the MP4. 
remembers effects. Uh, there's also a lot of work that's been done under the hood to make it perform better on a range of machines. Um, Scratch Live 1.9 will be in public beta on the, is it the 19th, I believe, uh, which uh, at the time of recording is tomorrow afternoon. Um, and Video SL 1.1 will be in public beta um, on the 4th of February. Scratch Live 1.9 is a free upgrade for all Scratch Live users, and 1.1 Video SL is a free upgrade from Video SL 1.0. So um, if you have an SL1, you can buy uh, Video SL now and uh, join in on the public beta. Uh, if you want to check it out um, and then when 1.1 goes fine it'll be a free upgrade. Be careful with the public betas, they're designed to give you a taste of what's coming up. It's not finished yet, don't use them in a live situation but by all means go to our website serato.com, grab the public beta and let us know what you think. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you,